This one's called Goth Kids 3, Dawn of the Poses. Bruh. I don't know why I said it like that, but let's get into this. Let's go. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, definitely goth, that intro. Nice. So I what? cast my body into the trials of blood. The knife pierces deep, deep into my lonely eyes. Whoa, that's pretty hardcore. Yeah, that's pretty that's dark. That's real pain right there. That's how I feel when my mother abuses me. Dude. Henrietta, sweetie. Shut up, Mom. Go away. Oh, but remember, Daddy wanted to talk to you in the living room, my dark little princess. Stop <laughs> calling me a princess. I'm not a beauty queen in a Disney movie. We'll be waiting in the living room. God, she just never stops. Henrietta, bro, what's going oh, on? Oh, goodness, I am so nervous. What? Look at the how picture on the wall. She's like oh, flipping it off. Family chit chat. Oh, Do you God. know how your foul language breaks your mother's heart? Like calling mommy demon jizz. So listen, sweetie. Demon jizz? We've found a camp. <sighs> no. A camp which is for troubled kids like you, and you get to work outside and learn about responsibility. I'll walk out of that camp and I'll walk the streets until I probably get picked up and gang banged by criminals until I'm bleeding out my f***ing eyes. Oh my word. And that's all you know? What else did she say? Did she go? She said that her parents called her an emo and she had to go to this camp for two weeks. Is she at the camp now? I don't know. She texted from the bus they put her on, then she said she wasn't even allowed to have her cell phone where she was going. Then all of a sudden her text went dark. Oh damn. Wow. Can't believe parents would do that to their child. You witnessed your friend being abused by her parents. Yes. They called her an emo. Oh my god, no way. What's you... wrong with that? Emos suck! They're vile, self-pitying, depressed assholes! So why do you think they called her that? Because she's goth and some ignorant people don't know the difference! What is the difference? Oh my god! A goth believes that deep down the world is totally fucked up. But an emo thinks that deep down they are totally fucked up. That's not much of a okay. difference. Goth's darkness is nihilistic whereas emos is cynical. I'm learning. I'm learning. Wait, I thought we were cynical. Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. No, see, you're nihilistic. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh. We're learning, we're learning, you know? Somebody let me out of here! You can't treat people like this! I wonder if she'll actually change though, that would be crazy. This is ridiculous! What's wrong with you? Some life right there, girl. No? Is there a snake in there or something? Welcome back! What if wow, she comes back with the B word. And she's all preppy and Smooth. conformist. She's only been there two weeks. They can't have changed her that much. Oh my god. Oh my. Hey guys. Oh, she's an emo what chick now, yeah? To you? I'm what guessing you that's yeah, that has to be. Do anything. They can't fix me. Dude. Oh god, we thought. Yeah, she's an emo she's chick. Emo. Yeah. I'm guessing emos have more colors in their outfits than goths do. Goths is all black. It's Has she said one word to either one of you guys? Nothing. She won't mm. even look at us. All she does now is hang out with the douchebag emo kids. Oh, so she's not even hanging out with them anymore. God, PE classes for such wannabe posers. I wish there'd just be an earthquake so we could all die. There must be something else going on here. Such a bleak perspective of the world, I believe, man, you know? Not now, Mom! I'm suicidal! It's not your mom, it's me. Oh, uh, hey. <laughs> Even the music what choice has changed. Do? Don't take this the wrong way, but I think that place turned you into an emo. That's ridiculous. I'm not anything. I don't fit in anywhere. I'm not emo, okay? Is she goth then? Why are you listening to Sunny Day Real Estate? I was thinking, she maybe they just made you confused at that place. Maybe that place turned you emo on purpose. You should probably stop digging for answers. What? Look at the check Soon the entire world will be emo. Oh. It is our time. No way. <laughs> Nobody understands us. And they won't understand until it is far too late. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> Do not fight it, Michael. Join us. Whoa. Whoa, 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 no whoa, way. whoa. <laughs> Dude, he dropped his walking stick as well. Death and despair! Death and despair! That was his ringtone? It's worse than we thought. 
that a caravan yes, home? Everything. I can't tell. I confronted her and she was all like, I am emo, and emos are going to rule the world. And I was like, no way. And she <laughs> no way. No way. Yeah, so listen, call up Furkle and meet me at Village Inn. I gotta run home, but I'll be there in 10 minutes. He's not gonna mention that deep ass voice he just put on. Michael! Have a seat, son. Is he on your Asian? Mom and I have decided you're gonna go away for a little while. What? This place gonna fix you, make you normal child! No, you gotta listen to me! Step parent? You know what you're doing. I don't know. You fucking conformist! <gasps> Bro got forced. Oh, did she do this? They're evil! Henrietta. And then there was two. I never thought it would end like this. If I get sent to that camp and I come back, Nemo, kill me. Oh my promise god. That you'll kill me. I promise. Oh my teeth. We're gonna have to team up with the vampires. Are you okay. crazy? What choice do we have? We beat up their leader. We burned down their lair. Don't you remember? <laughs> yeah, I remember. Damn. Is the uh, Sh Kowski kid still there? Mike? What's the thing? Mike Ski. Okay, let's all be Kasowski, I don't know. That's his voice, yeah. Noon meeting of the vamp kids? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, you spit see on that. me, Larry. I said Larry as well. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, I know we aren't on the greatest terms right now. You've got a lot of nerves coming here. Yeah, shut up, Mike. Listen, okay? <laughs> There's a camp that kids like us are being sent to, and somehow this place is taking kids like us and turning them emo. Yeah. You might Damn. not even be able to tell at first. Do they it care? already happened. One of you might already be turned. Hold up! Hold up! You mean that one of us might not really be a vamp kid? Yeah. Uh, right. I wonder who. Well, whoever you is, you better get your ass ready to run, motherfucker, because you're a damn traitor. Oh, my days. is this little right here. Oh, my days. What kind of fucking twist is that? That is crazy. I'm cutting myself to hurt this worthless body that I'm in. I've never understood the cutting thingy, man. I bake cookies for your new little emo friends. Not now, Mom. Oh, she still don't like Mumsy. Did it work? Does then? she still seem better? Oh, much better. She didn't call me a bitch, and she actually apologized to me. That's more like it. You know what Damn. we should do? And we should have Fallout Boy play at the Super Bowl. Oh Jesus! The vampire you know, kids are on board for helping. Earth, we're not gonna have football. Oh yeah. And you say she just showed up like this? You know Henrietta. That thing in there is not Henrietta. You want me to go in there and waste these motherfuckers? I'll do it. We can't just go in there and kick their asses. Oh my we have to stop this thing at its source. So random. Indeed. We must call upon the powers of the Vamp Kid's most sacred entity, per se. Only he can help us in this darkest time. This calls for a summoning. Oh, what's about to go down? We summon to the world of the living the great Edgar Allan Poe, knower of all that is misery. Your children need special guidance, per se. This black guy this being there is so plan. random. Try to summon Edgar Allan Poe back from the dead. We came to you for help, and all you've done since then is waste our time. Holy shit, look! I was literally about to say true. Where am I? What is this place? Children of darkness, I would help you, but I fear I cannot be seen with a bunch of douchey vamp kids and their poser-ass plastic fangs. Thank you! Hey! I'm just saying it's nice to know that Edgar Allan Poe agrees with us. Agrees with who? Is oh. that red dye in your hair or did a blood demon take a shit on your head, poser? Ooh, cold. He got you then! Oh okay, look, we're running out of time. Just because you summoned me doesn't mean you're the boss of me. Oh uh, yeah, it kind of does. Uh, okay, mom. Let's go fight the emos, mom. Oh, you guys don't know who you summoned, bro. He's like a super goth. What? <laughs> Where are you? Shh. It's best you don't upset them. What the hell are you doing to people? Not me. I just work for them. They're not evil, you know. They're just misunderstood. What? Wait a minute. Emos are plants? Shh, shh. It's okay. Not just any plant. They're very unique. Very special. Nobody understands them. Oh, it all makes sense now. Ah! Oh, sorry. Sorry, Emo King. Oh, no, emo I wasn't King? talking to him. Right away. Well, the plant was gonna kill him or something. No! What are you doing? It's quicker if you don't fight it. No! No! 
Bastard, show us! What the hell? These goddamn teasers. What is going on in this car, bro? Dude, Edgar, can you not smoke in the car? You can't tell me what to do. Who elected you the mayor of May? Put it out, Edgar. It's annoying everybody. God, you guys are so lame. And if you want my help, you better all stop calling me Edgar. But that's your name, isn't it? That's the name my stupid parents gave me. I like to be called by my goth name. Night pain. <laughs> Night oh, pain. God. Michael, you here? I feel like we're being watched. You don't see the cameras? That's the first thing you'd be looking at as soon as you walk in, no? Or is the plants watching them? I was thinking that, dude. Dude, Michael, are you okay? Kick it over! Stop He's... the plant! What? He's fucking tied up. Is he okay? Oh, thank God you're here. <laughs> nice. Emos are plants and they're invading human bodies. I'm sorry, but Whoa. I'm afraid that's not the plan. You did very good. Has been changed? Emo plants are pleased with your dedication. Bro, for how long though? Don't you see we can't stop them? We might as well join them. Oh, King Clan. How long, Furco? Don't feel. fight it. It's quicker that way. <laughs> oh god, I'm starting to feel emo. Wait a minute. Where the hell is Edgar Allan Poe? He said he was over this and was gonna hang out at the village inn. Oh, what? Look, we summoned you to help us save the world! What's the point? Save some people so some other people can be lame? And then those lamos can be lamer to some other posers? God, he is such a downer! How were you talking to him just then? Wait, the look. spores? Oh, he okay, came! Okay, I'm here, posers! Night it's up to him to save the day, the yeah? Plant leader. The leader over there. What do you want me to do? Knock shoot it over? It. Oh! Really? Shoot a plant? Shoot it! Is he gonna get changed? Hurry up! What is this? This says it was bought at Lowe's Home and Garden for twenty nine ninety five. Hey, these are just plants. No, they they talk to me. No, they're just like ficus plants and vibrating pots. But oh. looks like it's over, Harold Flanagan. So we have just one question for you. Are you scared? What do you mean? Is he on a TV show? Scared? Yes, that's good. Cause you're on. Yes, I was scared. <laughs> Oh, that took what? the piss! No way! So the, obviously the god kids aren't in on it. The camera right there. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> Your wife Sarah put you up to this. But they got us good. So I how were they? Traitor for no reason. Did you know about this? I have no idea what's going on. So how did they turn how into emo then? Tune in again next week when we make a woman from Milwaukee think she's working at a haunted abortion clinic. Gonna look silly. The plants you think took over your body and made you emo? They're just plants. From Lowe's Home and Garden. It was all a prank by some douchey network reality show. No, there's an organic spore in my head that made me switch clicks so easily. No, you just kind of did it on your own. Uh, hang on. What I meant to say was, we just infiltrated the emo layer and we torched the plant leader. Oh. Oh. Good friend. Oh! Uh, it, it, it's me! I'm, I'm, I'm me again! Oh my god, I'm all better! Thanks, you guys! Henrietta, I have dinner ready! Oh, Shut mommy! Up, Mom. Leave me alone, you conformist bag of demon jizz! Dude. Patty? Oh. oh! Oh! This episode was good. It was a good episode, but. I don't know. I felt like the pacing was a bit weird. It was oddly paced, but still good in a way. I would say I would put this one at the third um, behind the Ungroundable and the Raisins episodes because I think these this is the follow-up to those two episodes, but it was still a really good episode centered around the Goths, and I did like that. But also a few unresolved things. The little... Um, the Kindergarten Goth... You just switch sides just because kind of um unresolved the black guy let's just have a black guy in there just because i guess the ghost using him to drive the plot forward so that's what i mean a few things kind of didn't 
come together in maybe a way i would expect it for some of you guys it was completely resolved and that's cool um from your perspective for me i just felt like ah, maybe could have had a bit more but all around great episode and i guess i can count it as an unlinked trilogy um in a way like it's part of a trilogy but the, the trilogies aren't like fully synchronized like you have to watch this one for this one to make sense um except for maybe for the hot topic stuff uh, but even that it wasn't super relevant but it was a great episode i really hope that you guys enjoyed it because i did too if you did consider subbing and i'll catch you in the next one peace